Yeah, man, September the 1st, 2022. And I'm gonna talk about artificial telepathy and neural monitoring and mind control. Um, imagine this, right? Imagine yourself. Imagine a situation where you're like halfway asleep physically, your physical body, you're halfway asleep. And so while you're sleeping though, you're dreaming. And so this dream state that you're having, like it can seem very real, right? Okay, so that's kind of how it is for a gang stalker that's on mind control. They wear the thing on their head and, and they connect to a broadcast. So their physical body is like halfway asleep. They call it catatonic and they say different things for it, but they're, they're in this subconscious sleep state. And in their mind, they're connected to a hologram broadcast that physically exists in real life somewhere. And they're living as that broadcast. They can see from that broadcast. They can do things with that broadcast. And it's like they are that broadcast, like the movie Avatar, where they are that, that avatar, that physical being. The difference is that a broadcast is it's not a being it's waves it's made of waves and it's not bound by the laws of physics like a human is uh, waves can go through walls waves can penetrate your body uh, so they're connected to a broadcast while their physical body is in this sleep state and they're able to live as a broadcast so imagine how it is for you when you're dreaming and how Things don't quite make sense. Sometimes maybe, sometimes not. And reality is very blurred and you might act very erratic. Crazy things can happen. And you, you would have less self-control and a lot of gang stalkers are like that. When they get on mind control and connect to a broadcast and, and meanwhile they're doing what they call a, a EMF broadcast live stream. And that's where they have video, not video from a camera, video from broadcast, video from broadcast. So if you see something, or if you imagine something in your mind, close your eyes and dream up a scenario, that can be a video on neural monitoring. Okay, and that's, I have a vivid imagination. That's one of the things that gang stalkers love about being connected to me because um, I have this vivid imagination and and I can I can visualize things very well. I can visualize a person or a place or an imaginary thing. And those things can be a video of EMF broadcast. If I see it physically, like right now, I'm looking at my phone that shows me in the screen Okay, and my view right now, that can be a EMF broadcast video because everything that your mind is processing, whether it's real vision or imagination, all of that can be received because you're letting off everything, how, how you feel, um, you know, what, what you think, your thoughts, your real thoughts, all of that is let off by your mind and the satellite broadcast system, this EMF Mind control satellite broadcast system can breed all of that, everything, and then relay that to a gang stalker who's connected to you. Therefore, uh, they can know your thoughts. And when they receive your thoughts, they're not reading it off. I used to call it the readout back in like 2014 or 2015. I would say the readout. I'd be like, y'all need to give me my readout, right? Because I thought they were sitting there reading what I think off of a screen. Right, like, like the computer would decode me and then they would read it. But in reality, that's not what was happening. What was happening was they were receiving my thoughts into the, directly into their mind and then saying it. Therefore, intentionally being mind controlled by me, by receiving my thoughts and then they would say it. They would say what they've received. Okay, and, um, and it gets frustrating too when they react to what you receive or to what they receive from you. 
Um, but before I go off on that, let me let me finish up with this broadcast thing. They can connect to a hologram broadcast that is nearly invisible to the human eye, but it's it's physically existing. And you know all that static feeling that's moving around on you, and then when they penetrate your body and it feels like you're being jolted with electricity and attacking your heart and doing all that stupid stuff, that's them as a hologram broadcast penetrating, attacking you. They're attacking you physically on purpose. They're doing it on purpose to hurt you for whatever reason, for whatever reason they've decided that they want to hurt you. A lot of them are, are very um, deranged people and they think it's fun to hurt people. And God only knows what kind of mishaps they've had in their life to be, come to the point where they like and get pleasure and enjoyment out of hurting people. And they hurt me every single day. They hurt my physical body. Today, I, I mean, I was just like, oh God, like I wanted to cry, man. It would hurt my feet so bad. And it just feels like you're being electrocuted and they're penetrated with these broadcasts that are like microwaves into your bone structure. And it hurts so bad. And they get on your face and, you know, it's around, moving around in your hair and it's like, if, they, if they're not penetrating your, your body, it's on your surface and it's like tickling your face and it's hard to deal with you. You, you want to do like that, look like some kind of uh, crackhead or something, right? And that's what they want. They want that. They want that. They want you to look that way. Okay. Is there financial, moral, legal uh, liabilities to all of this? Yes. Coming, coming eventually. Yes. To the people who think that it's fun and funny to torture. Yes, there is. Okay. While they're living as these hologram broadcasts, they can look at you. There's another EMF broadcast video, a view from their broadcast. Waves can see like that. Reflective, reflective waves can see. They can broadcast onto a mirror or a phone or any reflective surface and get a really good view. However good the reflection is. They can use that like a camera with waves, broadcast and receive that back, and that could be their view. They can have your view, they can have your imagination from your eyes by receiving that, exploiting their control over your neural monitoring, neurological broadcast frequency profile on neural monitoring where they have access and you don't, where they enslave people, where they do human trafficking by buy, sell, and trading people's neurological broadcast frequency profile, which is remote neural monitoring. They, they can human traffic you in that way. And it has a very profound effect on your life when somebody has control over that. It could talk to you 24-7, artificial telepathy. They know everything you're thinking, everywhere you are. Uh, they know your safe code, your passwords, when you're home, where you're going, what you plan on doing, because you thought about it. And you can't do anything without thinking about it. And they get all of that. They get all of that. And they get all these different views from reflections, from their broadcast, from you, from your mind, from all of that. They can receive all of that. And they put together EMF broadcast shows about your life. Targeted individual shows and them gang stalking. And when they're gang stalking you, 99 times out of 100, it is with broadcast. A lot of people talk about the, the street theater and the people in public where Gang stalkers, whoever has control over your neural monitoring, has put your neural, neural monitoring profile public for anybody who has access to neural monitoring to be able to access that. And they can see, oh, here's a person that doesn't have access, meaning targeted. Here's a targeted person in my area. Let me go mess with them. And so they can swoop in like, like somebody you've never seen in another city, anywhere you are, and they can just swoop in. And you're thinking, how's everybody in on it? Because your profile's on public. Because who, somebody, somebody probably that you know, who bought your neural monitoring and has you enslaved, somebody that you know has put your profile on public to let everybody else has neural, and a lot of people have it. Everybody else has neural monitoring, can access it, and then they can, um, they can do the street theater stuff. And that's public, real life humans. But 99% of the time, you're being targeted by broadcast. And 99.9 .9 probably percent of the people who are being targeted have no idea. And the ones who know, I've met a few people who are very in tuned and have 
uh, some good intuitions and they understand that something's going on, even though they have not experienced out loud artificial telepathy. And that's more of, I'm not gonna say it's rare because there's thousands of us that talk about it all over the internet. Thousands and thousands of us. But until you've hit that level of targeting where you've got idiots on your channel all day talking to you through broadcast artificial telepathy and you hear it out loud coming from all over the place and these morons are screaming and acting stupid, until you have that experience, it's hard to know a lot of, of what's going on if, if you even realize anything's going on. You probably could just think that you got some physical problems. Like, I don't know, I got problems with this or problems with that or... You know, my heart always hurts. I think I got a bad heart. No. You got somebody who wants you wants you to die over time. And it's attempted murder and conspiracy to murder. And they're doing shows about it, right? How? How do they get away with it? How do all the other people with neural monitoring that are not into gang stalking, terrorism, um, hurting people and slavery? How are they not standing up and saying, no, 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 no. No. That's why they won't let me have it. They won't let me have it. Because I'm going to be regulating regulators right i'm gonna be regulating on these idiots going around trying to hurt people for no reason and who are you to think you you can hurt somebody for some reason who are you to decide gang stalkers who are you to decide and these are these are very demented people and they love to have this control okay so let's get to the um reactions you know um you, it, when you get to the stage, because it goes in stages, because you figure out things. And then once you figure out certain levels of things with neural monitoring, then the cat's out of the bag, right? So they don't have to hide that anymore. For example, okay? For example, um, Black James is gang stalker associated with a girl that has my neural monitoring or control over it. And I knew him personally. And he was the first full-time guy to be on my channel with out loud artificial telepathy talking and running EMF broadcast live stream shows of my life. Um, so at first for several months, maybe even the first year, I didn't know that they could see exactly what I see and that they knew exactly what I was thinking. But as those things started to come into reality for me and I, I realized like they got all of that, then it's not no longer a secret. Then they, then they approach it in a different way. They're no longer trying to hide it. So they're going to try to uh, brag and exploit that and give you hell about it. Right? So now I get reactions and when I think something, I get reactions. And if I don't like the reaction, what is it? It promotes me to try to think differently or not think, to not have to deal and suffer through their reactions when it's a two-way connection. Neural monitoring is two ways. I don't have the headset on in this amplified signal where it's so detailed coming to me, but I still get it and I, I feel sick over these idiots the Howard Circle family and the rest of them. I feel sick over these idiots being connected to me on mind control. I don't want to feel them. They're disgusting people. They're disgusting people. It's something I have to live with every single day for a decade now. A decade now. That's a huge chunk of my life. I don't know how much that's worth. A lot. A whole bunch is what that's worth. So, gang stalker Emily. It was a girl that came on, Kimberly and Emily, to two girls that came on, first two to come with out loud artificial telepathy as full-time people with Black James in 2015 and 16. Okay, a long time ago. But that's when the out loud stuff became daily and full-time and it hasn't stopped ever since. So when they came on with Black James, Emily was um, one of them, okay? And she used to do this scream, right? Like if I thought of something or, or for example, like once I had this really vivid dream and like this, it was playing a whole song and like this whole thing was going on and I remember it pretty clear still. Um, but she would, ah, like she would let out this girl scream. I can't even duplicate it, but it's a girl scream. Like, oh my God, I just saw the Backstreet Boys and my mind is blown or like, or like uh, Freddy Krueger's about to kill me type of scream. It's just a, a crazy girl scream. 
okay? And that woke me up that time when I had that dream because my dream had blown her mind and she was receiving me as I was sleeping, connected to me, and that's what woke me up was out loud artificial telepathy broadcast of her screaming with her mind blown about my dream. All right, really? That really happened? Swear before God. Swear before God strike me dead. Swear, okay? And so then later on, though, as she filtered away from my channel as a full-time out loud person and Marcus had came on. Now, this was back, way back before I really had just had it and I understood it pretty good, but not to the level that I do now. And I was thinking I could get my neural monitoring and it wasn't, um, I mean, it was real bad. It really was, but it wasn't, uh, that wasn't all bad, I guess I could say. And the girl, Emily, I liked her. Okay. I liked her. And the guy, Marcus, as he transitioned in late 2016 as being the main person, the only full-time main person, his thing was, I don't know, out of jealousy or, or, or just to think that it was fun or what, he would try to do Emily voices. And then he started doing this, the Emily scream, okay? And that's where his girl scream originated, all the way back to 2016. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. For six years, this idiot has been doing this girl scream, okay? And then the one I call Birthing Yak, the younger one of the, of the four guys that are on full-time. And I think they're all related in some way, this group of idiots, to Emily too. But uh, those two, they both do the, the girl scream and, and to the dumbest little thoughts I might have, right? And it's, it's a reaction, right? It's like the girl scream reaction, but they overdo everything. They overdo everything. So you would, you should reserve that for a wild, vivid thought or something crazy, something spectacular or amazing. Not for every stupid little thought, right? So they do it about uh, once every minute. No lie. I ain't lying at all. About once a minute, these two idiots. For six years, they still do it like once a minute. For every stupid little thought I have. Ah! Right? And it's the, the girl scream. I have to deal with that every day, all the time. For these morons. And it's like a reaction, right? And they just overdo everything. And, and they still get a kick out of it. That's how dull they are. Same old dumb stuff. And then I might think of something, right? Uh, or Like typically. Like if I think of something um, that I should have done differently. Or or uh, come to a realization or something. Then one of them will say, Oops! Oops, right? And it's a reaction to my thought. Oops, and it's so disgusting, right? I, I would like to put them all into a, a capsule, a rocket ship capsule, and hurl it at 50,000 50, miles per hour towards the sun and just watch it go into, into the abyss, right? That's what we should do to these people. And I have to deal with them every day. Let me get my notes out here. All right, I was gonna do several videos, but I'm just gonna cram it all into one. The static, okay? When they're a hologram broadcast and you feel them moving all around you. And, and so last night, last night I'm sitting there and I'm trying to sleep, right? And I, I got pillow between my legs and I'm trying to bundle it up. I'm hot as hell. I can't cool off because I'm trying to protect myself and they're just all around my butt and my genitals with this broadcast, just static. I could feel static just moving around. And, and when they do that a lot, like they do that in my eyes a lot, right, my face, and it starts to feel sunburned. Like, and you start to have like red, and it starts to feel like you've been sunburned or like a really bad wind burn. And it feels like, so, you, so I know that it's burning my skin and it's all around my genitals. Marcus and the stupid little guy, birthing yak. Birthing yak. I call him that because when he talks, his voice sounds like a yak giving birth. Um, and this is all from 700 miles away, mind you, okay? Because I'm, I'm in Ohio. I'm in Ohio right now. So I think it's like 700 miles back to Georgia where I, where I live. And, um, you know, I'm thinking about moving somewhere else. Uh, it don't even matter. I mean, I'll always go back and forth, but um, 
you know, I'm going to be going some different places. But it doesn't matter. Satellite broadcast, they can reach you anywhere. So the Howard Circle gang stalkers and this group of gang stalkers, the Viva La Crucial gang stalkers around the Atlanta area, South Side, those people, they are still the ones on my channel all day, every day with neural monitoring, artificial telepathy broadcast, physically torture and attack me with hologram broadcast. Um, let's see. The fifth, they got a fifth guy that they bring on, okay? And, and it's so sick because... Every time he comes on, he, it's like he's in a competition with the other four to see if he can hurt me or be the most violent, right? Excuse me, I just ate some Taco Bell um, before I start this video. <laughs> right, and this, this fifth guy, he always turns on the Black James voice setting and he'll start talking real slow. And, and it's got like, it's a deeper voice and kind of country and... Um, but you could tell that it's not the real Black James. It's just he's using the setting. And a lot of people, he's got that kind of voice where a lot of people try to use the Black James voice setting. And when Black James, the real one, was on my channel, he would try to talk real slow. And that, with artificial telepathy, mind control, that draws you in. If they talk to you real slow, like if I talk to you real slow, right, you'll start to talk along with me, word for word for word. And that's one of the things that they love to try to do is is to talk real slow and draw you in so then you're talking along with them. So it's like they're mind controlling you and it makes them feel powerful or get little points with the game they're playing or whatever or whoever they're betting with or anything. It's a mind control game and a tactic. And artificial telepathy is a form of mind control. But I learned to break off from this a long time ago. I used to talk along with them. James would say, I could talk for myself, Kevin. Right? And this was back in 2015. And he used to make me feel so dumb. I'm like, I can't stop talking while he's talking to me. I can't, and I'm word for word for word for word, infinitely. It's mind control, and you can really do it like that. Um, doing a slow talk, but, and then it's like, it's like, Kevin, Kevin. It's got this vacuum type of echo resonance to, to the voice setting, and I'm like, what a moron. Like, it's so played out, and I, I'll be like, in my mind, in my mind, because I, I don't answer these people out loud, okay? And when they're talking to you through broadcast, artificial telepathy, you can think back to them. You don't have to talk out loud to them. And when I think back, I think myself talking. And then at the same time, I think myself with a leaf blower or a vacuum cleaner. I'm like, sorry, I'm vacuuming right now. Right, it's my voice setting saying, shut up, you moron. You sound like an idiot. Shut the... You sound like an idiot. Get lost with the BS. You sound like an idiot. You've been played out since 2015, 16, 17. Here it is, many years later, you're still doing the same thing. But this is the fifth guy that they, they bring on. And it's always a thing where they say, uh, where, where they'll be like, okay, okay, turn him off. Every time he comes on here, he's stirring up this. Now he's going to make videos. Turn him off. Marcus, turn him off. Right? This is some, one of their buddies. That they bring on, they can just bring on somebody else on mind control to come torture Kevin. All right, and um, and it's all about their live streams, right? They make money doing EMF broadcast live streams, putting out these shows, and they charge idiots like that to come on. Like, yeah, maybe they charge them by the hour or something like that. Let them come on because they have control over my neural monitoring profile, right? Right? They have a, a deal. A negotiated deal with this girl that really has what I call possession of my neural monitoring and allows these guys to do the live streams and be on 24-7. And then they get to bring on who they want to. It's like a pyramid scheme. It's like a pyramid scheme. And they all can make money off of that, off of these live streams. And I, I mean, I've had some wild scenarios and some wild dreams and some wild stuff happen with broadcasts and all kinds of things that I know they can make money on. You wouldn't believe it if I told you all the crazy wild stuff. Only people that have neural monitoring. And I can't even talk to nobody about it. The coolest stuff you've ever seen in your life with broadcast stuff. I can't talk to nobody about it. Nobody would believe me. Nobody would believe me. But I know people that have access to neural monitoring, we could talk about it and like have some good laughs. And like I'd like to see some of my own stuff. This is thing. They 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 need to hold me away from having neuromonitoring. They need to shut me up about it. None of that's gonna last long. 
and because they've done so much stupid stuff. And now we're at this, this point where I have to go hard in the way that I'm forced, the route that I'm forced to take, which is tell a hundred million people how it really works and what's really going on. Um, you know, and then one of these idiots will go, he's acting stupid. I'm like, like, like they really turned me into, into, um, (laughs) it was this lady at my old job and she always like, looked like that. And I started calling in my mind. I started calling her Frona, Frona. Um, but they give me the Frona face all the time. One of them will be just talking and they're, they're desperate and they're begging for relevance and they're begging for attention to try to get some activity going for their live stream and get my attention and some interaction with me. And they just keep saying stupid stuff at me or, or having a reaction or a comment or whatever about my private thoughts or about what I got going on. They want to be a part of every little detail of my life. I don't want them here. This is unconsensual. I hope they, I hope they die of heart attacks and strokes right now. So only way I can get rid of them. I don't care if that sounds cold to you. I don't care. I think capital punishment will be amazing. Get rid of these parasites right off the, the face of humanity. Get rid of them. They're only dragging down humanity, and they really are parasites. I could be making more progress. I'm making enough. But I could be making more progress without these idiots, or is it that I'm making the most because I use them for motivation? I wouldn't wish this situation on anybody else, but I can appreciate my position because otherwise I'll just be a regular person. Who knows how my life will be. Now, I probably would be more into the things that I choose that interest me the most. But instead, um, I'm doing the most to try to get the furthest because I need to be in that position. Um, you know, and when they, when they turn me into front of, ugh, like, ugh, it just makes me want to puke because they're talking to me. They're saying something. They're begging for my, my attention, begging for relevance. Hoping to God to interact and be a part of my details. Right? And so then I think about how disgusting it is. And one of them will say, I'm getting kicked off your channel. I'm getting kicked off. I'm about to get kicked off your channel. It's the same thing. They say the same thing a thousand times a day. And then such and such said this. Such and such said that. Or my control people said this. Right? And I, It's so bad, man. It's so bad. Um, and then and then one of them will say, all right. Right? They'll say something and I think about how stupid they are. That was that was my uh, acknowledgement to them. All right. All right. I'm stopping. I'm stopping. I'm about to get kicked off your channel. Right? And then there's, there's them begging for relevance, trying to become relevant. It's so bad, man. It's so bad. But anyway... It's torture. That's how neural monitoring works. That's how these gang stalkers work. They're going to torture me for this video probably. Right now, it's, um, I would say, 11.30 p.m. Eastern Time. We'll see how quick. This video should load in five minutes. But when I make a video like this, they'll like to stall it for like nine hours. Right? I'll have to sit there and have it loading for, like, finally it'll get loaded. But we'll see. Um, anyway... I hope they don't static attack my genitals again all night. That was a real bad one. <laughs> good one, guys. Good one. <laughs> they sit there and laugh and act like it's fun. How pathetic of a person can... can how? That's it. That's it. Thank you guys for watching. Um, my life's taking all kinds of wild directions, but... Woo, right now, I got a bunch of assignments due. Worked on stuff for three hours last night. Got to work for a couple more hours tonight on it, doing like 10 hours a day at work too. And um, right now it's web development, database management, and trying to get these assignments done and uh, keep this money coming and and everything else. So um, I'll see y'all in the next one. Thank you so much for all the support. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry I can't get back to everybody anymore, but my life is just swamped. All right, it really is. I try to get back to people and, and comment back. Um, it's just, it is what it is. But thank you all for everything, the support, and for watching. And I swear to God that all the things that I say are the truth. 
swear to God, I'm not crazy or, or no mental disorders. Um, I'm moving towards success. I'm doing well with school. I'm doing well with work. Um, and I understand neural monitoring and gang stalking very well. So check out some more of my videos. I'm going to share this one everywhere. See y'all on the next one.